Uh, so we're just gonna, I'm just gonna leave that there now, but what I am going to do is I'm gonna talk about this bag. Now, I've come up a hell of a lot of uh, Monroe's and the bag that I've been using the most has been my Low Pro uh, Sport and I feel that the straps on that one are too small so when it's sitting on top of my on my shoulders, on top of my shoulders, I feel it kind of digs in a bit, there's no padding. That and I can't fit as much kit as what I would like into it. And a lot of the time I'm going to sacrifice a lot of um, a lot of stuff in order to be able to get this thing out into the field. So like I've been leaving first aid kits, I've been leaving water, I've been all the stupid stuff. So hunt about on the internet. Another one, it was a kind of out, out, out venture kind of one, but in the end I went with the Endurax. So this Endurax, it seems to fit, and it has fit more, all the stuff that I relevantly need when I'm out uh, out in the field. And uh, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos of guys that are, uh, uh, they, they're not going the distance that I am. This is the UK, uh, we need a, a specific amount of of materials and stuff like that in order to do this. I mean, look at it, we're out here. But you can imagine when it's completely raining and pouring and all this, that it's, it's a nightmare. So I'm gonna talk through what I've got in this bag just ever so quickly. So I currently have my camera, well, obviously the camera's over there, but it fits in this slot here. Uh, it fits just in there. And then I've got uh, space underneath if I want to put that wee Alpine Labs thing. Uh, into it, let me just get that back up. Um, and I've also got a little tripod on the side here, but I could put in another lens if I wanted it. Then I've got all my spare materials and battery for my drone, so my DJI Mavic fits perfectly just inside there. I've also got this, uh, there's also this little pit here where I keep all my kind of loose materials. I've got that Peter McKinnon uh, ND filter, which is currently on the camera, that fits in there when I'm not needing it. Going forward, I've got in this top section where I keep my phone and kind of sensitive kind of stuff. I've got my keys, I've got my sunglasses and my torch, and it fits in there. It's kind of padded, so that's that's pretty cool. Uh, coming forward again to that, I've got in here this part here. I've got my, my snacks, trail snacks, stuff that I need straight off the bat. Again, going forward and in the next part, there's bits everywhere in this. You've got pen holders, a bit for your notepad. I keep my wallet in there. Uh, so you've got that section. Come outside, you've got these side pockets. Uh, you can put your water bottle or whatever. I've just got that DJI stupid, what the hell is it called? Osmo? Whatever the hell it is, it's crap anyway. I'm not using it. It's only good for taking panoramic and that's about it. Um, at the side of the bag, I've been put my tripod and my walking sticks. They sit uh, in the side here, but also if you look here, there's a flap. This little flap here, and that's where you get, if you've got a long tripod like I have, it fits into there and just keeps it off the deck. Let me see, I've got my uh, GPS in there. Now, without having to go all the way into this, inside here, when I originally got it, there was uh, another bum bag or fanny pack or whatever you want to call them. Uh, so you can put your camera into that and give it extra padding. Right now, I've just got, uh, in here, I've got my rations, I've got my heater, I've got water, uh, cold weather stuff. I've got, uh, what else have I got in there? Gloves, socks, it's spare, everything. Everything I need is in here. So I'm not going to open that up because it is a bit of a mess. Uh, or, well, I say a mess, I'll open it up anyway. Screw it, what's the worst to come? So yeah, there's my puffer. Uh, I've got a first aid kit in the back there. I've got my uh, canteen, or my cup, sorry, metal cup, with my heater. A heater. What are they called again? For your flame, my flame. What the hell are they called? I can't get the name out now. This, this thing. Vincent Bonner. Right, <laughs> Whatever that's called, I can't get the name of it. Fuck, I remember what the hell. Stove, stove, I've got my stove there. And then all my cold weather stuff if I need it hat, uh, gloves, socks. Um, the only thing you probably not notice is the jacket, but I forgot to bring the jacket today. But if I did have it, that would have fit right there on the top. Let me just get this back in here. Um, and other than that, there isn't much else that I need. I've got a camelback which fits into this section here. There's like a zip at the back here. I think that's where you would put your uh, your um, oh, your laptop. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, you fit your laptop in there. Overall, I feel that the bag sits it sits nice on my back. Uh, my back does get quite sweaty, but I'm, I do get quite a, a sweaty back anyway. 
Uh, but in terms of everything that I can get into it, I'm really happy with that. I'll probably, this will be for the next wee while, my mainstay kind of bag. I mean, at £99, that's how much it is on Amazon right now. That's reduced from, I believe, £140. Uh, it is a decent enough bag. Um, and, you know, if, you're, if money's tight or whatever like that, and you're just looking for a, a good bag for stuff like this, um, then, yeah, crack on. I wouldn't use this bag in winter, though. I'd probably go back to using a Bergen. Um, just with the amount of more stuff, the materials, crampons, ice axe and all this that you need for if you're doing this kind of stuff in the winter. But for trips out of this, it it's it does it does its job. It's it's done well. Uh, the only other thing is the side part here. You can see it just right there. Oh, it does. And that's the other thing. It does come with a, a an over a, an over protector uh, for the rain. I've just put mine into this wee pocket here. But I feel that these sit quite short. They sit round about there, they're not all the way around. That's quite annoying, but I mean, if that, that's just me trying to pick holes at it. You can see the clouds starting to come in now. Um, but yeah, Endurax uh, extra large uh, bag. I'll put the link to this in the description. Uh, and that's that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you've got any questions, get them in the comments box below. I'll try and answer them as best as I can. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in the channel and you you like all this kind of stuff, all the photography and gear reviews, then give me a shout, um, give me a sub, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.